In Class A, the Miller Rustlers started out the year with a loss, but they haven't lost now since September 8th. They come in as the number one seed with head coach Linda DeBoer leading a young group who has really grown up throughout the season. They just have a will to win and they just push themselves and their teammates to be the best that they can possibly be and they bring that energy and enthusiasm to the gym every single time they play. Miller will be looking to hold off the defending champs from Sioux Falls Christian, who despite being ranked number one in the polls, drew the three seed in the tournament. Yeah, I would say the girls are playing really well and we want to keep working hard and just really fine tune every part of the game. We got to keep working hard every day in practice, keep pushing, keep working on the things coach tells us. She does a great job of pushing us in practice and we're going to keep working hard and take it one game at a time. And don't forget about the two seed McCook Central who hasn't lost since September 11th when they lost to Sioux Falls Christian in four sets. They will attack with one of the toughest front lines in the state with Aaliyah Reese, McKenna Krantz on the outside, and Abigail Van Ruler in the middle. Um, they're so athletic and so determined to win that they just put it all on themselves and there's just so much fun to coach. I think that if we just keep our heads up and all work together, that will do really good. Winner Elk Point Jefferson, Parker, Ron Colley, and Rapid City Christian make up the rest of the field. Parker hopes to use their senior-dominated roster to cause some chaos. Um, I told the girls, every year we've just been saying, okay, our goal is to get to state. We don't even talk about it at the beginning of the season anymore. We know that that's our goal. But okay, it's not just good enough right now to get to state. We want to get three more wins. So that's their mindset, and we just got to go out and try to do it. Because we have so many seniors, was to make it back to state for them. It's, it's going to be really hard next year without them. But we've been waiting for this as senior girls. Our, so only three of us our freshman year got made it to state. And it was in Sioux Falls, so it's kind of a coincidence again this year. But we're all ready and we're all ready for this.